friends, welcome back to the garage. My name is Jim with Philly Fix and I'm so glad you're here. We've got round two of our deep impact competition between our top tier impact drivers. And what I'm most excited about today is this guy right here. This is the Makita XGT 40 volt impact driver model GTD01. Um, it's May 1st, 2021 as I'm filming this. I believe these just started shipping pre-orders today, possibly, uh, but I was able to get this because Makita lent them to me. So they weren't given to me. I have to give them back. Uh, actually, this coming Monday, it's currently Saturday. And I reached out to Makita, to one of their local people to me, uh, and asked if I could borrow these tools. So no promotion here. Uh, I didn't have to sign any sort of agreement or whatever. So this is gonna be a completely, uh, completely honest review. I will admit though, I am a big Makita fan, and before I started this channel, my core tools were Makitas. Uh, you saw that really old drill in my first uh, flex video. So anyway, we've got the DeWalt DCF887, that's the top of the line XR. It's got the eight amp hour XR battery with 21700 cells. The flex is back, and the reason is I had the five amp hour battery before. Finally, my eight amp hour battery came in, so I'm gonna retest this one with the better battery cells. The Makita XGT, I'm not gonna tear this battery open because it's not mine to keep, but, oops, what I can tell you is it's slightly wider than the LXT battery, which leads me to believe it has those 21700 cells. The LXT platform, there are no batteries with high output 21700 cells, so I've got the 5.0 in here. They do make a 6.0, I don't have it. I don't think it would make that much difference. And of course, finally, we have the Fuel Gen 3 with the XC 8.0 high output battery in it. So a relatively level playing field. If anything, the XDT 16 here from Makita has the disadvantage. Um, if you wanna know what the tests are gonna be, uh, I'll put the last round of testing up in the card and you can go look at exactly what the tests are. They're gonna be exactly the same here so you can compare results between videos. I'm super excited to do it, so let's get started. Okay, we've got our DeWalt DCF887. We have it on speed setting. Three, and we have a fully charged XC 8.0 amp hour battery. Of our Makita XDD 16, we have it on speed four, no special modes, and we have a fully charged battery. We have our Milwaukee Fuel Gen 3. It's on speed three, and it has a fully charged M18 high output battery. We have the Flex Quick Eject. We have it on speed three, and we have a fully charged eight amp hour battery. Makita XGT, speed four, no special modes, fully charged battery.
All right, it got stuck almost in the bottom. All right, it was almost there. So I think I'll add that last fraction of a second. Some of you guys might not like that because that's not realistic in, in the field. Um, you know, it's testing. Yeah, you know, trying to do apples to apples, doing the best I can. Same thing on the Makita. Huh, okay, well, same thing as the DeWalt. Okay, this one got caught on the bottom too. Uh, what I do have to say though, is this has extremely smooth operation. It's not that any of the other ones are particularly rough to use, but this one's very, very smooth. Three bars.
So the DeWalt was getting a little bit of grease on the bit adapter here through the collet. Okay, I think that's a thermal shutdown. stopped because this thing <laughs> was spewing oil. Ugh, that smells really bad. 100 and... Yeah, that's pretty hot. What's it measure inside that collet? Oh, doggy! Whew! No wonder that grease melted. <laughs> I didn't measure the collet on the other ones. I bet the DeWalt got hot too, but. All right, guys, before I get to this one, uh, I feel like it's worth pausing and talking about something for a minute. Do not do this to your impact drivers. Don't try to drive half inch lags with, it, with an impact driver. Use a high torque, at least a mid torque, but probably a high torque half inch impact wrench for high demand applications like this. This is strictly for fun, for testing, to push these tools to their limits. It is not everyday real world use. You will shorten the life of your impact drivers uh, because that's not what they're intended to do is things like this. Uh, but this is for demo, for fun, for testing purposes. Uh, but I just wanted to get that out of the way because uh, first of all, I don't want you to think that I think that this is something you would do every day. Secondly, I don't want you to think this is something you can or should do with a standard quarter inch impact driver. So that being said, we're gonna keep doing it for this, but uh, don't do this at home, kids. Okay, we've got uh, Flex in first, Milwaukee in second, Makita 40 volt in third, DeWalt XR in fourth, Makita XDT 16 or 18 volt in fifth. Okay, so in light of what I just said about the 10 inch lag screw and the stump test not being realistic, I've got some quarter inch by six inch screws here. These are a little closer to something you might actually do uh, with an impact driver. So I'm not only gonna run the models that we're testing today, I'm gonna go back and bring in the triple hammer from Matabo HPT and the Cobalt XTR and add these to the results. I'm gonna do two per impact driver and I'm gonna go right from one to the other to simulate real world, you know, going from one fastener to the other without stopping the timer.
All start. I just want to say a few things about my overall impressions. Um, these are all excellent impact drivers. We're kind of splitting hairs here with probably fractions of a second of difference in some of these tests with some of these models. Um, I don't know the numbers just yet till I edit the video, but you really can't go wrong with any of these. Um, my favorites, like I said, ergonomics wise would be the Metabo HPT, either of the Makitas and the Cobalt. They're the smoothest to use, the less vibration in your hand. You know, I like, the way they feel in your hand. Um, so ergonomics wise, you know, I think these are your winners. Uh, the weight's nice, although these have four amp hour batteries. This obviously has a five that's smaller cells. This is by far the lightest, the XDT 16 Makita. Um, as far as performance, you know, I, I guess you guys will know by now. I'm just thinking it seemed like the Milwaukee did pretty well. I almost hate to say it. I was almost hope, hoping to see somebody uh, take out the Milwaukee and maybe they did. But like I said, you'll know the numbers. But we're going to do hammer drills next. Stay tuned. Thanks for being here. My name is Jim with Philly Fixed and God bless. Hello, I'm Jim Davis.